G'day, I'm Robin from Equip2, and in this video, we're going to show you how to remove and reinstall the blow bars on an R3H. To start off with, we need to make sure when the crusher box is open, we install the safety pin for the rotor. That is done below the little cap. Loosen off the bolts and open the cap. When the blow bar is at the top position, the bar will go right through, meaning the rotor cannot move. So when we remove the blow bars, we need to remove the safety pins. The safety pins are located on the back side of the blow bar. There's a 36 mil head bolt we need to remove and then we can remove the pins. We're now going to use a device to remove the blow bar. The devices that are used need to be approved and rated to the weight of the blow bar. The blow bars uh, have a weight on the side. This one is 226 kilos. So gear need to be rated for at least that weight. Once installed your lifting tool, you've got to make sure the blow bar has dropped. And we can see that by having a gap in the section here. Sometimes it requires a hit down on the blow bar, having a gap so we can lift and slide the blow bar out. We're now gonna lift the blow bar up with the crane and slide out. Now the blow bar is out, with our tool we can flip our blow bar. So before we install we want to make sure our surfaces are clean of any material or build up. Going over with the scraper we can then slide in our blow bar back in. Remove our li lifting tool. We now we'll need to reinstall our lock pins. We clean out the holes, install them, and fit our bolts. And that's how you remove and install the blow bars on an R3H. Just to remember, you need to make sure that when you're replacing them or flipping them, you always do your two opposite bars.